liquid television. Yo. Yeah, we're back. Yo, MTV Raps, Fab Five Freddy, with an exclusive discussion with my man Slick Rick. What's up, Slick? Same old same. You yeah. Know, I like children's story video, you know what I'm saying? I think it was whack. But you know, that's how it goes sometimes in business. Yeah, know? that's true. Well, you get a chance to fix some things up. But you know, it's interesting, the story in that. But my favorite song off the last album, one of them was The Moment I Feared. Do you feel like there's any kind of irony in that situation compared to situations you in now on, on a legal tip? Um, yeah, well, kind of, you know, you situation I ain't never been in before, you know, going to jail and all that, you know. I like to, I like to, you know, make the public laugh, you know, humor them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all that fancy stuff, you know, as far as, you know, being a moment of fear and all that, mm -hmm. you know, brother just got to handle it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the fear besides God, you know what I'm saying, and all that. Mm hmm mm hmm Because that was interesting, because the whole scenario to me was like a motion picture, and, um, and now you kind of living that out, which is interesting, but it's great that we get to talk in between. Tell me, what's it like, what's your day-to-day -day life like right now? You know, what's the average day for you right now? Well, being out here right now, um, I'm just having fun, you know, making my records, you know, taking advantage of the situation. So, you know, I get them papers, take care of business, you know, got kids and all that. And um, that's it, just having fun, living, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Living. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the background, we hear some of your new material, which is real slamming. Yeah, uh, this one called Shouldn't Have Done It. Me and my man Vance Wright put it together. Vance Wright made all the music and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, I put the lyrics on there, you know. We're just trying to get paper. Ah, get mad papers coming in in a minute. Let's just flip into the next video. And um, we'll be back with more Slick Rick exclusively on Yo! MTV Raps in a minute. Yo! You know, Rick, I noticed a lot of rappers, I mean, you being the first person to come out with that, let's say, that storytelling style, doing other characters, and whatever, there's a lot of other rappers that are doing that style right now. Uh, how you feel about that? I feel not against it. I wish them the best, you know. Everybody got to get money, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just go, hey, get yours. Just don't play me. That all. That's Everything's it. fine and dandy. Everything's fine and dandy. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, welcome back. You're MTV Raps here with Slick Rick, just kicking it around. Um... Musically, though, you know, being that you perfected the style of, the, let's say, the storytelling style, different characters and what have you, what are we going to expect coming up on this album as far as the storytelling? Probably the same kind of like storytelling stuff, man, you know. Same, same really like really storytelling stuff, you know, trying to keep up to par, you know, maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. A little more uppity or whatever you want to call it, you know. Because when you have a style that's real original, I notice in the rap game with so many people in it, if your style is really clearly defined and original, all you got to do is just stay on that level in a way because ain't nobody really got up to it yet. Yeah, true. Makes it easy for me, you know. You know, that's true. true. People know who did it, who does it, and where to go to get it. And um, also, Rick, you told me you, did a, you dedicated a song to your little baby boy. Yeah, it's called It's a Boy. It's... You know, for my little Rick, it's little Rick, his name is little Ricky. What's the flavor? His name is Rick too. Yeah, little Ricky. <laughs> What's he like? He's all right. He's chill. I'm gonna right. we'll see him at the end of the video. I know we gonna we gonna grab him and bring him in here. But I think um, we should move into that video. Hey, young world, dedicated to your little son. All right, no problem. All right, cool. Yo, MTV Vibes, Fab and Slick Rick in a minute. We back. Yeah, we're back. Yo, MTV Raps, Fab Five, and Slick Rick in the house. Yo, Rick, I was remembering, man, about two years ago when you was on my show. Remember? We went shopping. Something B-Boys like to do. Gucci's, Diamond District. 47. Where else we went? Polo. Got a little polo here. You know what I'm saying? Remember? Hmm, that was kind of fly, wasn't it? Yo, Slick, man, a lot of people don't know too much about your background, like how you got into hip-hop and everything. Let's tell us a little bit. About well, I, I, I was born in England. I came over here in, like, 76. Everybody was in the hip-hop, you know. What you think, Rick? I think you really should get these right here. Those are kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, Mike, let us see a pair of them. Yeah, Would you me, mind? You don't mind, man. Thanks, Mike. Oh, yes, it's called The Great Adventures of Slick Rick. It's a really, really good album. I produced it. I'm paid already. You don't have to buy it, but buy it. More money in my pocket. Yo, Rick, it was real cool, man. Hey, thanks a lot, it was man. definitely cool. We got to do it again. Yo, that was kind of wild, right, Rick? True. <laughs> hey, yo, Rick. On a serious tip, man, you know, like we talked earlier about the little predicament that you have and on the legal side and what have you, and 
we know you're in the process of working that out and what, you know. But is there something you want to say to all your fans who also, you know, are curious about what's happening and everything and how you feel about all this? Mm, well, I would say, you know, I'd tell them, like, you know, no matter what kind of situation you get in, no matter how mad you get, you know, never never try your best not to never take law in your own hands, you know. It ain't worth it, you know. You got to think of your future. Sometimes you got to swallow your pride and all that. Mm. You know, that's just how that go. That's interesting. That's a strong message coming from Slick Rick, and uh, that's real potent, man. You know, the way that, you know, it takes a lot of courage. Yeah, yeah, true. true. Rick, the modest one. <laughs> anyway, let's just flip into this next video. We'll be back with more. Slick Rick in a minute. Music. Rap, rap music. Yo. Yo. Rap music. Yo. Ah, uh, yeah, we're back. Yo, MTV Raps with Little Ricky. Say hi, Rick. <clears throat> Over here. Say hi. Yo, MTV Raps. <laughs> this is Slick Rick's little son, Little Ricky, <clears throat> on Yo, MTV Raps. And uh, Ricky, come on. Do, 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 do. And we got Vance right over here. What's up, Vance, right? All right, cool. Talking to the mic. Here we got it. So, Vance, um, tell us a little bit about what you did on the album. Uh, me and Rick did the whole album. Mm -hmm. And um, slamming. You slamming? Slamming. <laughs> what, are, what are some of the tracks like? I mean, musically, did you do anything different? Because the tracks you all do are always pumping. Yeah, well, we tried to, you know, be unique with a lot of the samples and not, you know, try and use a lot of stuff that's been used already. So, got a lot of different stuff, new sounds that haven't been heard before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exciting. So, Rick, got a look. Got a little Ricky here. <clears throat> got a new album getting ready to come out. And you got some serious legal problems that are getting ready to be ironed out. And uh, how you feel about your future as of right now? Well, right now I feel it's like it's positive. You know, I got out here to make some more cash. Should have gonna be trucked up like this and all that. <laughs> and you know, we just chilling. My man Vance Wright made the slam and Dre shouldn't have done it by himself. You know, I just put the lyrics on it. You know, yeah. we just making money. And that's real cool. And everything's gonna be worked out with Slick Rick. He has some problems, but everything's gonna be like I said, it's gonna be ironed out. And the and the track, the video is called. Shouldn't have done, done it. it. Shouldn't have done it. Yeah. It ain't I shouldn't have done it what I did, but even though I shouldn't have did that too. That's funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all it's about, you know. <laughs> it's about relationships. Um, you know, I was cheating on a girl and you know, I, was, I shouldn't have done it because she, she tried to kill us up the end. <laughs> Rick Slick Rick with another incredible story and let's go into the video. Thanks a lot, Rick, for sharing the time and telling the story to the whole audience out here. And uh, we out of here on your MTV Raps. Peace. Right, Ricky? You like that, right? I'm gonna let you take my job in a minute. Alright, this is the first verse from I Shouldn't Have Done It. You know, a little something. Go like this. Well, I'm gonna tell you a story and I come out bluntly. Born an ugly child, hey, nobody will want me. Used to walk around and get upset and upset. Till I figured out ways to make myself look better. As I got older, my awareness expanded. An all new episode of Bootleg MTV is just 30 minutes away with live performances from Faith No More, Def Leppard, Black Crows, Yes, and REM. Next, stay tuned for the wildest show on television, The Idiot Box with Alex Winter, right here on MTV.